Will AI take over e-com? You know, everybody's talking about AI, e-com. You see all this stuff. I'm here on my farm. I'm an opposite of AI right now. <laughs> I'm on my mountain farm. Anyway, I've done a lot of e-com in my day. Shipped a lot of physical products and digital products. Here's the thing. I'm going to give you three things. I'm going to give you a little counter to what you hear being said. Number one, AI has been with us for a long time. So everybody's acting like AI is so new. Google is AI, artificial intelligence, searching the global database of information. So it's like people, in a sense, it's funny. My take on AI and how you can use it for e-com and drop shipping and building businesses is like it's overrated and it's underrated at the same time. So I'll explain. Like I said, it's overrated. People are acting like automation, you know, of of intelligence is some brand new concept. I'm going, come on, man. Like I said, Google <laughs> is has been AI and there's been, your calculator was AI. People used abacuses to do math and now people use uh, complex artificial intelligence. Your airplane, you're going anywhere. This iPhone I'm shooting on, these are all examples. I mean, even, even I was thinking movies like Hollywood. The first movies were late 1800s, early 1900s. In a sense, that was artificial intelligence or artificial robotic because the human eye was replaced with the lens, the complex eye, and the human brain, specifically the amygdala, where we have our memory, was replaced by stored film where they stored movies or tapes. So, I mean, this has been going on for quite a while here since some level of industrial revolution. So, in a sense, all the stuff you see about AI is overrated. In another sense, it's underrated because nobody knows how to use it, specifically in business. So, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> I have a student who's a friend who's, you know, I don't want to say how much money. He's one of the most successful people that started following me and turned it, you know, what he learned on for me and also on his own into making a crazy amount of money, like a per year profit. I won't even say because I don't give it away if someone figures out who knows me which friend this is. But let's just think, let's talk tens of millions of dollars of profit. And um, we were talking, he does a lot more on the SEO side, which is part of e-com, especially marketing. And you don't want to replace all human interaction yet. The AI is not powerful enough to do that. But you can augment and you can basically use, AI can supercharge your e-com business. That's the way to think of it. Some people are putting it out like, oh, e-com and AI, you just lay back, do no work, and AI just does it. It's not advanced enough yet. It will be at some time. But by the way, don't be too excited for that day because then you have infinity competitors in your e-com business. You'll have infinity. Anybody, if you press a button and you have a valid operating e-com business, that's a horrible time for you in business. Because you'll have infinity. Every human on earth will launch an e-com site to try to grab their market share. So there's this little window in time, two, three years, where AI is not powerful enough to create like 10 million competitors competing against your e-com business. And it, you, it'll be like kind of stealth and existing e-com players will be too cocky to adopt the new technology. That's what always happens. The reason you can beat competitors, incumbent competitors, the reason probably Amazon, Apple, and all these companies will eventually be displaced is eventually you get too cocky because you're winning. So the current people winning at e-com are going to be a little too cocky to be hungry enough to augment their business with new AI tools, okay, to grow their e-com, to grow their SEO, to do their blogs, to do their articles, to do their PDP. That's your product like your product page we call them pdps that's kind of the lingo if you want to learn in e-com like you can write your pdps i've had you know e-com business with hundreds of people working for me and you can you'll still need humans but your profit margins will go up because the computers the ai tools can replace a lot of the annoying stuff that people had to do right so it's not completely displacing humans yet. So it's a time to get into it. It's a, the, everything always has that little window. It's like Jeff Bezos caught the window. 1994, internet was new. 
He launched very little competitors. The tools were there, but they weren't sophisticated enough. Created a window. Microsoft, big companies that were incumbents were too cocky to jump on the internet. Even Bill Gates at one point was like, ah, the internet is a fad. He was too cocky. I mean, he eventually changed his mind, but not until new people got to come make money. And so <clears throat> that cycle happened. That's been happening for millennia. And it's happening now in the online world, people making money with e-com, physical products, digital products. You can boost your profit margins and you can take a lot of the boring stuff out if you know how to use AI. Now, the problem is most people don't know how to use it. Um, that's why I want to record this this kind of talk by the way i have a i have like a e-com certification program i launched it it's one of the first people to do it i launched it in, i think 2016 or 2017 i've got the new version out i'm gonna put a link below if you're watching this or in the corner um which incorporates the most powerful ai tools and shows you how to use them gives you that edge if you want to get an e-com now's the time to do it if you're listening just go to tylopez.com podcast ecom. Tylopez.com slash podcast and then E C O M M. Tylopez.com slash podcast ecom. And I'll show you. You can go through a training program. I don't charge a lot of money for it. So you go through the basic certification course to learn ecom. Like it's insane that, yeah, I, I started in ecom more than 10 years ago, digital products, then over time switch to physical and digital you know i've done everything brick and mortar store side and you know i i've been in this game and i've owned big brands i've built new brands from scratch and it's crazy that more people aren't in e-com i mean i'm on my farm here i got my phone i can run a whole business literally you can you can run an empire you know and so e-com is powerful in the sense most people misunderstand what e-com is. I mean, there's so many ads and stuff and people saying, I'll teach you Amazon and drop shipping and da da da. It better be in the e-com game. If you have a restaurant, if you have an, obviously if you have internet businesses, you'll know you'll be learning e-com, but go deep down this rabbit hole. And I'm not just saying that because I want you to buy my course. Go buy someone else's then. Buy multiple ones. You know, do free stuff and paid stuff. But go deep down this rabbit hole because this is the goose that laid the golden egg that people aren't pursuing. You know, this is people I talk about, oh, I'm financial freedom. And I'm like, well, electronic commerce was the closest thing in human history to allow actual freedom, the literal definition of freedom, movement, schedule your own, work with family, friends, whatever you want to do, launch new businesses if you get bored easily, you know? So, yeah, AI can become your new best friend in e-com because I remember first launching e-com, it was, you had to do everything yourself, even the boring stuff. And if you're trying to, especially if you're doing physical products and you're going to be putting a lot of products out, just writing the descriptions is a pain in the butt. Writing the email sequences, AI can help with that. Writing the SMS autoresponders, AI can help with that. So I'm going to end this free podcast. This is going to be part of a longer lesson for the paid people in my e-com uh, system. So if you want to hear the rest, I'm going to go deep with some specific things. I wanted to give some free value here and just alert you. Whether you go on my program or something or no other, you got a narrow window where AI is not powerful enough to be fully utilized by the cocky, you know, incumbents, the winners right now. And um, and the smaller players haven't yet adopted it. So you get that short window in time in history, special time in history for building an online business. So, you know, I'll be talking. Go click the link below. Go to tylopez.com slash podcast ecom. tylopez.com slash podcast ecomm. Two M's. And jump in there.